What's up, YouTube? It's Jermaine with another video, another San Francisco series video. And in this video, I was kind of confused what to talk about. I was thinking maybe I'll do a video, San Francisco versus Oakland. And then I thought, I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's do San Francisco versus New York because I've probably spent more time in New York than I actually have in Oakland. And I'll just say that Oakland video for another, a couple of weeks down the road. So this video is going to be San Francisco versus New York. And I'm just going to, you know, touch bases on a couple of things, especially pricing. Because uh, I'll just go ahead and say this, man. I was in New York last summer last um what july and honestly guys <laughs> i thought new york was a bargain yeah i actually thought it was cheap in new york and i'll give you a breakdown i'll tell you what i'm what i'm talking about like why i thought new york was actually cheap okay so what happened was my girlfriend and i was her birthday and she wanted to go to New York to visit some friends. And I always love to go to New York. It's one of my favorite cities in the U.S. So, um, you know, we, we go to New York for a birthday. And we're there for a week. Now, before we went, it's summertime in, in San Francisco. And things are kind of slow. Okay? I'm not really as busy as I once was. Like, I wasn't really doing Uber. During that time, I was doing more iCrack, more Postmates, more other startups. So things were really slow. So we got to New York, okay, and I just cut the, the iCrack app on, and it was, like, busy. And I was like, man, I see potential over here. So I, I did, like, three or four jobs during that same week that I was there with my girlfriend. No big deal. Made it some quick cash, all right? So we got back to California after we spent the week in New York. Got back to Cali, and... The first three days I got back, it was like nothing, like no jobs are coming through. And it's like the summertime, so it's harder to find college kids and more people like take vacations and stuff. And I'm like, crap, dude, this sucks. So I convinced my girlfriend to let me go back to New York. And I'm going to go to New York for like two or three weeks and I'm going to work. Okay, cool. That works. So I got to go back to New York. A um, couple days later, and I'm there for like three weeks. And when I was there, I basically I stayed in a hostel one couple nights, and I also stayed at um at on one of my girlfriend's friends' places. Girl, a girl who lives in Brooklyn, crashed over at her house a couple nights. And thing I noticed about New York was number one, getting around New York was definitely cheaper. Than getting around like San Francisco, and I'll give you this little breakdown. So in New York, for I think it was like a hundred dollars or maybe a hundred and fifteen dollars, you could get a uh, a pass to get on buses and subway for the whole month, a unlimited pass for buses and subway. All right, Th that's just about all you need for the most part. Now, in San Francisco, if you want to get an unlimited pass, you can get an unlimited Muni pass, but that's only good for the Muni lines in the city and also the buses in the city, okay? And I think that's like $80 or something. And then for $90, you can get BART in the city. So you can get unlimited rides on BART in the city. However... Bart in the city doesn't really go a lot of places, so you're not really getting that good of a deal just because you're getting Bart extra. But in New York, it's like you get unlimited access to the subway and the buses, and they go everywhere, okay? Now, in Frisco, on the other hand, those unlimited passes are only good for in the city. New York, those unlimited passes are good for, like, the five boroughs of New York. So you can go a whole lot further, okay? San Francisco, okay, you, if you want to go from Oakland to, like, San Francisco, that unlimited pass 
does not cover that trip, so you're going to have to pay extra every day if you commute from Oakland to the city, okay? Let's say you commute from Oakland to Redwood City every day. This is a commute I take, all right? Well, that's a pretty expensive commute. <laughs> not only is it expensive, it's costly. Like, I have to take BART, and then I have to bike from BART and then get on a cow train. Then I have to take cow train and then bike from cow train. After I get off the cow train, I have to bike from wherever I'm going then. Yeah, um, that's one thing I noticed quick about New York. I'm like, wow, I'm not really spending that much money on transit, and I'm still going everywhere I need to go. All right, so I noticed that. Number two thing that's much cheaper in New York, food. Oh, my gosh. Food in New York was definitely cheaper, and you had way more options to choose from for different price brackets, okay? For example, in San Francisco, there are places in the city where you can eat for $5, Okay, but chances are, if you don't know of those places, you're not going to stumble up on one of those places, okay? In New York, there's places where you can eat $5 everywhere, you know? Every little convenience store, like, sell those little turkey sandwiches, like, those little sandwiches that they can make for you, you know? Like every little convenience store sells those, and by so many people selling the same stuff, that just brings the price down. You know, so in New York, I was literally, I could eat breakfast for like two or three dollars, you know, and it's like somewhat of a decent breakfast. And also around lunchtime, I could like have a decent lunch for well under ten dollars. And I'm talking about like a lunch on the on the go. Um, San Francisco, on the other hand, I mean, there's a hot dog stand at Market in, I think Market in Fourth. And hot dogs are like five dollars, okay? Five dollars for a hot dog. All right. New York, there's hot dogs all up and down the street for two dollars all day. You know, some neighborhoods you go to, hot dogs are four dollars. Other neighborhoods you go to, hot dogs are one dollar. But man, you can definitely get deals. All right. Um, another thing I noticed. We were talking about this at school the other day. We are talking about the police, right? So, I have, um, like, at, at my school I go to, because I'm learning computer programming, I'm, I'm, I got my head really deep into JavaScript right now. And a lot of people in this group, they, they, they're from New York and stuff, and, and one of the guys, we were talking about cops, right? And he was like, man, you don't see any police around here. And I was like, yeah, man, especially, like, especially versus New York. New York, you see police everywhere. And when you don't see police, you probably still would see police because it's probably an undercover cop. But around here, it's like, San Francisco is a wild, wild west, man. Like, people still do, people do two things around here. They do whatever the f*** want, or they do what they can. And that's basically, like, how it goes down around here. Like, um, I, I love the city. I love the weather. Um, I definitely don't like the weather in the New, in New York as much because I don't like the freezing cold. I don't like the snow and all that. However, we're getting a lot of rain in San Fran. We've been getting a lot of rain lately. Like, it's been raining nonstop. Like, right now it's raining, like, all day. That's why I haven't been blogging because... Um, it's been raining so much, and it hasn't been blitz pricing. There's still a lot of people out of town. Um, that's another comparison I can make with New York and San Francisco. By San Francisco being smaller, it's more of like, it's more of a tourist place, all right? Unlike New York. New York is definitely a tourist place, but let me put this in another way. Alright, when I go to New York, I actually meet people. I actually meet people who haven't left the city in like two, three years. Like, they have been in the same city for two, three years and they have not left. They have not went outside the city. Because New York is a city like that. There is so much stuff to do in New York. And 
There's so much stuff going on. You can actually stay there for a very long time without even leaving and without even missing the outside world, okay? San Francisco, on the other hand, I can't, I can, no, I've never met anyone who's told me that you just stayed in the same place, like, a long period of time. I mean, people typically, like, bounce around. Like, people are more, like, transplant. Like, you meet locals in New York, and they're, like, they know New York left and right. Like, they know the best places to go to. Like, they got that, that voice. You know, they got that tone in their voice. Like, they got that attitude. They got the New York swag. San Francisco, you just don't really meet that many people, like, that around here. They're very far and few. Um, this place has been, like... It's been transformed into this tech city, so a lot of the old San Francisco folks don't really live here. And gentrification has definitely affected this city really different. Like, gentrification wouldn't hurt New York as much because New York's already developed. New York's been developed for years. San Francisco is going through this just changing phase, and everywhere you look, you look up, like, they're building this, and they're building that, and, you know, this is going on, and that's going on, and this is a new neighborhood to move to, and don't get me wrong, the same thing's going on in New York, too, you know, different neighborhoods are being gentrified, but it, it, it just hits San Francisco a lot harder, you know, New York, you got so much more space, you got so much more real estate, San Fran, you just don't. And that just, it really kind of boils down to it. And I will say this, New York is Mecca. Like, San Francisco is not, it's never going to be a New York. If it was, if San Francisco was going to be a New York, it would have been a New York 30 years ago. It would have been a New York 100 years ago. You know, there's that big earthquake in 1909, and that basically, like, leveled the city. I don't know if it was 1909, but it was in, like, I think 1904 or 1905 or something. But San Francisco had that massive earthquake. It leveled the city. Now, if that earthquake wouldn't have happened, maybe the city would be different today. Maybe that boom would have just kept on going and kept on going. But just after that big earthquake, things sort of, I don't know, things kind of calmed down for this, this part of the country and... Now it's just going through another boom, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see where this one ends up. I will say this. This boom is not like the last dot-com boom in the 2000s. Um, you know, there's a lot more companies now that actually provide services and stuff. But I don't know. We'll actually see where where this um, tech bubble go in Frisco. Cool thing about New York is... It's not so dependent on one industry. I mean, finance finance is huge in New York, but it's not like tech is in San Francisco. Like, tech is everything in San Francisco. If something happens to tech, the city of San Francisco is going to fill it greatly, okay? Now, if something happens to banking in New York, the city's definitely going to fill it, but New York has so many other industries, don't get me wrong, San Francisco has other industries too, but just the tech the tech boom has just really driven this city, not much of anything else. It's mainly the, the, the tech boom that has that's that, that has got all these cranes to build all these buildings. The tech boom is, you know, got all these, you know, construction projects going on. The tech boom is what has displaced so many families. So when you really look at what's going on here in the city, it's only the tech boom. And if it wasn't for the tech boom, who knows, this city would probably be sleepy and quiet like it once was before. I don't know. Another thing about New York, I've, I've noticed too, that like the rent situation um, is a little bit different. Um, I want to say just recently, it's just shot in San Francisco. The rents have definitely shot higher than what the averages are in New York. Um, and I also know a lot of people who have moved from San Francisco to New York for various reasons. You know, they got job opportunity. And also, New York is cheaper. Like, all those people are basically paying less than $2,000 a month. And if you want to pay 
less than two thousand dollars a month here you gotta have some roommates so check this out in the video i recorded this video a couple months ago but this guy i'm trying to park in this spot here and this guy's gonna trip out when i try to take it but obviously he's not taking it so i'm gonna try to take it <laughs> watch each other watch this guy jump out of the car Hey, man, give me the spot. He was just all yelling at me, saying he was going to take the spot. But as you can see, when I was driving up, he was just parked in the middle of the street. You know, his reverse lights were, were not on or anything. So he yells at me, and I just tell him, look, happy Sunday, dude, take the spot. But anyway, back to the San Francisco part of the video. Um, But guys, I don't know, um... San Francisco is a great city. I mean, it's fun. It's just going through a little boom right now. It's kind of pricey. But, uh, guys, I am going to be ending the San Francisco series. I was going to stop it at 10, and we're almost at 10. But let me know in the comments if you guys want me to continue these um these videos and, and, um, and these, these talks. Because I actually like doing them. They're pretty cool. I may just continue doing them anyway. And uh, another thing I want to let you guys know, all of the videos in this series have Creative Commons license, licensing, meaning that if you want to download this video and, like, use the footage, you totally can legally. And anyway, like this video, give me a thumbs up. You want to see more videos like this from me, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.